Hey, what's up, guys? It's time for another Days Royal Lives reaction video. And before I get into talking about this week's episode, <laughs> just want to let you guys know that Beyond Salem 2, it will be streaming on Peacock starting on Monday. I totally forgot to make a video to talk about what was going to happen. My bad, but I will be doing a um, reaction video for that next weekend. Um, but um, if you haven't seen the promo, check it out. It's, it's on um, YouTube. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, Bowen Hopper back. Um, ben and Sierra will be on there. Um, John and Steve. Um, Eileen Davidson is back as Kristen for some reason. Nothing against Eileen. I'll talk about that in my reaction video. And they also brought back Paul. Christopher Sean is beautiful. Beautiful. Anyways, I'll talk about that next week in their own special video. <laughs> Anyways, to this week. Um, I was just looking over my notes and I'm like, there really nothing happened. Not that much happened. But this video probably will still be an hour. But I'll try not to talk as long as last week. Okay, and now I'm going to talk like a minute and a half. <laughs> okay, well, anyways. It was, um, yeah, I guess the big story would be Abby's murder slash funeral. <laughs> yeah, her funeral happened off screen, which I'm very happy for. I did not need to see people crying all over Abby, especially since we know Probably in a few years she'll be brought back somehow. But anyways, um, Ron C, the head writer, if you didn't know, he um took to Twitter to um explain why it was off screen. He said that um it was a budget thing, and that they only allowed an average of twelve characters an episode, and um so. Yeah, because then you'd be watching the funeral and be like, why is this person not here? Why is that person not here? And I'm like, word. And I replied to him saying, I'm glad it wasn't on, I forgot exactly what I said. But I did say I was glad that it was, um, oh, I put what Ron said. I didn't put what I said. Well, I said, you know, I'm glad it's off screen. I don't like to see people crying and stuff and being all depressed, you know, I have a mirror for that, you know, something along those lines, you know, the, it's not quote exactly what I said, but yeah, some people got to laugh at it, be like, yeah, I, I feel you, <laughs> so yeah, and I was like, I don't know if I said that last week, but I was feeling with, you know, the worst thing about a character being killed off is not because they're gone, it's because, you know, people will be crying and sad about it and just going on about how great that person was for weeks and months. And I know it needs to happen, but it's not something I want to see on a regular basis. You know, soaps are my escape from reality. And, you know, there's times in my life where I'm sad and I'm depressed and my anxiety is acting up because... You know, I got too much going on, my body's hurting, I'm not feeling well, and that brings in depression. I see that myself. I really don't want to see it all the time when I'm watching my soaps. I want to be enjoyed. I want to see crazy shit happen. I want to see crazy love stories, fights, you know, blowing up shit. <laughs> you know, the huge. <laughs> but yeah, so that's why I'm not really looking forward to, you know, the chat crying and all that other stuff. So, <clears throat> so basically, but um, my favorite thing is, well, Jen, she had um, put in their, um, the paper, I, uh, the spectator, right? That's what it's called. I don't know. I totally forgot, but, um, beautiful obituary of, um, for Abby, and I guess Gwen read it, and she told Jack, you know, how much she enjoyed it, and to, um, um, what is, I'm trying to think of what her, her 
trying to think of the word she used. Not to thank Jen, but to, you know, you know, I guess praise her for it. I don't know. Just tell her she did a good job, basically. And JJ, <laughs> I got a quote from him. He said, that bitch can take her fake sip. Symphony, symphony, S symphony, <laughs> and shove it. <laughs> and I'm like, JJ is speaking for a lot of us there. <laughs> and Jack got all mad and he left. And um, <laughs> when he later returned, he apologized to Jack. Um, and I'm like, so weak. <laughs> Yeah, and Jack is the only one that really wants to care about Gwen, even though Gwen is just, she doesn't really deserve it, but, you know, Jack's a good guy, he knows that he's not perfect, and he had his problems in the past, and he just wants to be a good dad, and Gwen makes it really challenging, I guess that's what it's like being a parent. <laughs> That was really cool. We finally got Sunny and Chad scenes. I know a lot of people, a lot of my tweets were mad about that because you know how good friends Sunny and Chad were, um, were, are, and them not having scenes together, especially since, you know, Sunny and Abby are cousins. I don't, I don't know. Some people didn't realize that. I'm like, yeah, they're, um, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, their parents are siblings. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, and, um, Will came back, too, and Will told Lucas that he thinks that Abby's murder has to do with Sam's kidnapping, because Abby did reach out to Will about, um, asking him about the kidnapping. I forgot about that, so I'm glad Will brought that up, because I, I forgot that she had talked to him, like, a few uh, episodes or two before, um, her death, so. That was interesting. And Lucas, of course, was like, no, it has nothing to do with it. Let it go. <laughs> yeah, I, I truly don't believe that Lucas is the one that killed Abby. I just don't, I don't see it. Even pass out drunk or drunk out of his mind and still, you know, finding a way to move around. I mean, Lucas, I know he's done shit, but... He's not a generally bad guy. I don't see murder even drunk, so. Especially not his niece. But. Yeah, Clyde got arrested, though. <laughs> it was only a matter of time. Yeah, after the funeral, um, Rafe had went back to the pub and he saw the um, Abby's bracelet on um, Nancy. And I'm like, oh. I just I just knew somebody was gonna recognize it. I, I didn't suspect it'd be Rafe, but yeah, he, and he um arrested Clyde. You know, Nancy tried to lie for him because she's a ride and die bitch. <laughs> but yeah, she said that um Chloe I gave it to her and then Clyde's like, No, don't lie. He he said he got it off some average guy. And one of my tweets was talking about Leo Average. There, yeah, there's nothing average about Leo. So I don't know. I guess Clyde wasn't really thinking of what he looked like. But you know, we saw the flashbacks of him and um Leo talking. I didn't think about it. Were there actually flashbacks? I know some of it I remember seeing, but I'm like, some of it I'm like, is that something they just Put in there, because I don't remember some of the stuff. Yeah, like after Clyde had um, sold all the jewelry and um, told him that he gave got rid of all the jewelry except for one. And I'm like, I don't remember him telling Leo that he kept something. So that was weird. But um, yeah, he got arrested, and Nancy believes him. Ben believes him too. Um. So that's good, but Ben's still left town. His dad's locked up and he's still left town. All the love. <laughs> but um, Rafe called Chad and Chad came down to the station and jumped. <laughs> he jumped on Clyde. 
<laughs> and <laughs> it's like, it didn't seem like Rafe was like really in a hurry to pull Chad off. And Rafe even admitted that he was hoping that Chad would do that just to get a rise out of um, Clyde. Because, you know, the, the mayor name is supposed to be scary or whatever. But I'm like. The only scary thing that the mayor has done lately is cursing. <laughs> and she's on the run. Well, no, she's locked up now. I forgot. She hasn't broken out yet. So I guess we'll give her some time to do that. <laughs> but um, Chad told EJ. And EJ went down to the station and... um. Admitted that Claude said that he was going to send a message to his family. And you know what? I totally forgot. I meant to go back and watch that. Did he? I can't remember if he said that. I don't think he said that Clyde had um, killed EJ. Yeah, I don't think he said that because then, because, you know. But Ben did ask him um, if he did anything to EJ or try to kill EJ or something. And Clyde lied about that. So, <sighs> Lordy. And Chad, of course, is mad at EJ and wanted to whoop his ass, too. But Ray broke that up. <laughs> it's funny. Oh, but it was really funny. EJ was speaking for a lot of us. <laughs> he was before he, he was trying to tell the story, and Ray interrupted him. And EJ's like, shut the fuck up. Basically, that's <laughs> what he said. He's like, how about you stop talking and listen? I'm like, thank you, EJ. We, we are very happy to have you back. <laughs> oh, yeah. So now Chad is pissed off at EJ, as he should. <laughs> and EJ will turn back the favor when it comes out that... Chad knows that he, you know, has, you know, he basically has the proof that EJ didn't, and, um, frame, EJ didn't frame. EJ didn't kidnap Sammy Lucas there, and it looks like that's gonna come out next week. If you haven't seen the promo, um, Sammy and Lucas are supposed to get married next week, and Chad's gonna jump on, <laughs> jump on the kid. So basically, um, Chad's gonna jump everybody in town. <laughs> Poor thing. Yeah, he's gonna need a, um something to jump on soon. <laughs> oh, Lord. okay, I'm trying to stop. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Speaking of Benicier, like I said, they left town. They're officially gone. But they will be on Beyond Salem. But, <sighs> yep, they left town. They christened Cinnabo. <laughs> and then left town. You gotta miss them. <laughs> uh, yeah, at the funeral. <clears throat> oh, yeah, some tweets are rude. <laughs> Their hatred for um. Sin and Sierra and even Victoria is hella strong because um, Sierra's dress, I loved it. I thought it was really cute. But um, some people said that she was like, oh, yeah, go go to your cousin's funeral dress as a hooker. <laughs> and like the makeup and an outfit. And I'm like, oh, rude. Just because. <laughs> Just because you have, you know, you went with a different eyeshadow and your girls are, you know, you know, on display, it doesn't make you a hooker. <laughs> if that makes you a hooker, then you wouldn't want to see the dress I wore to my sister-in-law's wedding. Because <laughs> then you would have been like, oh my god. I didn't expect that much boobage with the sh with the dress. <laughs> I'm like, that's why we need big booby models so I can have a good, you know, sense of what the dress is gonna look like on me. <laughs> Cause I don't like going shopping in the store. I can never find my size. It's like my size, like everything cute is like sold out in every size except for like small or extra small. And I'm like, I couldn't even get an extra small over a boob. 
Plus, there's more variety online, and I can get better deals. And hey, I don't have to go out anywhere. It comes to me. And I am got way off the fuck topic. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I forgot what I was gonna say. Um, you know, so um, they went around and said their goodbyes. We even got Sierra and Victor seen. <gasps> and they're crying, they're crying. That was really good because you know, like I can't remember the last time they got a scene together. So that was beautiful. They um said their goodbyes and <sighs> Victor was being as nice as possible. <laughs> I know he wanted to say some shit. <laughs> but he's like, no, it's my granddaughter. I'm going to be nice because she's leaving and the baby's there. <laughs> That's really cool. But um well, she intertwined with um, Sean and Jan drama. <laughs> As I told you last week, Clyde um, revealed that Christian is actually Jan's baby daddy. Sean Christian's daddy, not Sean. Missed opportunity. Hella missed opportunity. But that's for a whole nother video. Anyways, I still don't understand what Clyde is trying to do, though. He's, Jan is supposed to be helping him get information that not even Sean or Rafe has privilege to. But, I mean, if they don't have privilege to it, then why does Clyde need Sean's um, login or secret code or something? She was talking about emojis, and that's not listening to her. Because I think it's stupid to... I mean... Oh, lordy. I said Clyde. Orpheus. I wrote... Why the fuck I wrote Clyde there? Orpheus. <laughs> That's why I was going... <laughs> wow. I'm talking about Orpheus, not Clyde. Though Clyde would probably be joining them once he leaves the station. Yeah, and it's why and Kristen and Clyde and this is just stupid. But, I don't know. But, apparently Orpheus, well, apparently. We saw that Orpheus had gave Jan a um, burn phone. And he had called her and got some weird code or whatever. And then Clyde, um, Clyde Orpheus threw the... Um, number in the trash and Christian got it out and called Jan and said that he knows that he's the baby's daddy and he wants to see his son and tells her to bring him to the prison. Really? So you want Jan, who's under house arrest, to break house arrest Take the baby out of the NICU and then go to the fucking prison? I don't want to hurt. Prison? Really? Oh. <sighs> I swear, so stupid. <laughs> and then he thought her ass was really gonna do it. <laughs> Lord. No, Jan instead, um, she didn't break out of the hospital. Sierra went to Sean to, <coughs> went to the hospital to see Sean and she went to talk to Jan and she had left um the keys to living in sin boat in the room while um Sean took her to go see Sean Christian and she took the keys and took off her ankle monitor and waited till they left the NICU and grabbed <laughs> Sean Christian. Mm -hmm. Sarah left and ben, um, ben. Sean found it in the trash, her um, ankle monitor in a trash can. And instead of calling for help, he lo looks around like a dumbass. And then he goes out and Jan's getting on the, she, no, he goes to the NICU first. She's not there. She's getting on the elevator. He sees and she leaves. What does he do? He has a phone call. Christian's calling him to tell him the truth. And he accepts the call and he gets mad at Christian. 
If you don't want to fucking talk to him, dude, why did you accept this phone call? Or why the fuck you even answer the phone? You should have been call security the second you saw the ankle monitor in the trash can. Why do these writers insist on writing my face or really anyone with any common sense? As a mess. I can't speak for Hope because I don't like Hope, so she don't matter in this situation. But I don't ever remember Bo being a dumbass. Besides marrying Hope, but that's a whole nother story. And he's Victor's grandson! He's supposed to have brains! I mean, I know that doesn't help Brady very much. But even Brady's been smart enough lately! He was able to figure out that EJ is banging Bell, but Sean couldn't think. Um, yeah, I should call security because Jan's ink monitor is in the trash can. <sighs> she calls him <laughs> Dance to the Dog. Okay, I'm calm now. <laughs> they call Dance to the Dog. And she's like, he's like, give me the baby. He's like, oh, don't tell nobody. Come along. He still does. He still does that. He could have had somebody hiding in the bushes or something. Anyways, he's <laughs> like, give him the baby. She throws his blanket at him. <laughs> There's a bunch of oranges. Oh, that's what I wanted from the grocery store. I went to the grocery store yesterday and I was like, trying to figure out what else I wanted. See, this is what happens when I don't write stuff down. But, anyways. <laughs> His dumb, and she said, Oh, and she laughs, and she's like, Oh, he's on the boat. He really was gonna go in the boat and leave, turn his back to Jan. She smacked him in the head with the water. I was like, Oh my god, dumbass. <laughs> but, um, Belle had, um, went down there. How did she know that he was down there? Did she go to the hospital? I can't remember. I'm like reading shows. I can't remember. I didn't write that down. I think she went to the hospital and was talking to Sean. <clears throat> but luckily she came around. She saved his dumb ass. Yeah. She saw Sean on the ground and she freaked out. And her and Jan got into a fight. I'm like, yeah, go, go. You know, I, I love this mansion. Call me crazy. <laughs> that was funny. Belle grabbed the oar and smacked. I'm trying, I'm like visioning it in my head. She knocks Jan with the oar and she, Jan goes into the water. And she goes and she checks on the baby and Sean's like, where's Jan? And Belle's like, oh, she's in the water. All right, let's go. She didn't say it like that, but, you know, basically she's like, mm, she's going back. Sean dumb ass jumps in the water after her. You know, I wasn't thinking. I was just when he did it, I'm like, you're the dumbass! But now that I'm thinking about it, um, he was just not unconscious. He could have a concussion. But he still jumps in the damn water at night looking for Jan. <sighs> and nobody, he couldn't find her. And the Coast Guard looked all night, and they couldn't find her. And, yeah, some people were like, she's on the boat. <laughs> That'd be some shit. <laughs> Here's Johnny. That's why. That's why I thought. That's all that to you. <laughs> but um, yeah, Jan's gone for now. You know she gonna be back. She hiding somewhere, definitely. I mean, we're talking about the coast. We're calling <laughs> Coast Guard, Salem PD. Yeah. They're not going to get her. She's going to come back eventually. Because she's going to want the baby. And, you know, Orpheus is going to be mad. Gertrude's going to be mad. Yeah, but so Shane's gone. Sean's like, okay, she's gone. Now can we be together? And Belle's like, uh, 
she can't be the mother to Jan's baby. So she left Sean alone. So Sean's alone with the baby that's not even his, and Belle goes right to EJ. No, she doesn't go right to EJ. Yep, there she goes, right to EJ. I mean, I love Sean and Belle together, but, you know, Sean is being a dumbass. So I can totally understand Belle, like, being ugh to him. But, I mean, at the same time, it's kind of sad because, you know, he's not the father. Well, before, it's was like, uh, yeah, I can understand. Belle has her little thing with EJ, and then they find a way back. But he's not even a father, so he's doing all this dumb shit for Jan, and all for nothing. Because he's not the daddy! And now he's... Now I want to cry. Ugh, horrible. <sighs> so... Is EJ and Bella gonna bang again? <laughs> I don't know, I don't read spoilers. But they weren't. It was just um, Lucas, Sammy, and Chad, and whoever else is at the wedding. And. <laughs> what else did I say? Oh, EJ, I talked to Marlena. <laughs> yeah, and they were talking about Belle. And Ryan is like, um, so what are your intentions for my daughter? <laughs> she didn't say it like that, but <laughs> you know how, you know how it was. You know how it be, so. Oh, yeah, and when, um, EJ, he had hugged Belle when she came home, and he's like, when I thought I could, could lose you, and then he just stops talking. My head goes stop talking, keep going, keep going. Okay. I just want to knock him in the head. <laughs> Lordy. But, um, yeah, everybody went down. Well, not everybody. Um, yeah, Sean, Ray, um, and Jake, they went down there to say goodbye to Ben and Sierra, and they took this last weird picture. <laughs> it's like, they could, like, hold each other and smile. <laughs> But, oh well, that's the last we see them. Well, I heard that um, Rob Wilson is going to be playing another character on Day Their Lives because it was Victoria that wanted to work part time and Rhonda didn't want to write for one half of the couple. And plus, it's hard to write for just Ben because they don't haven't really established Ben outside of Sierra since he's been back basically, so, that's been three years, oh nine, right, so, yeah, <laughs> and why does Jake had on a suit, does, doesn't he not have a, does he not have a job, I don't know, plus, you know, what is him and Kristen, Kristen was gonna have him do something, but, I don't know, that wasn't it. But, um, Leo had went to go see Gwen. I, I forgot to talk about this, my bad. <laughs> went to go see Gwen, and he said, they're in the clear now. And, um, the guard has said that, um, he didn't want Gwen to go missing again. And, um, Leo asked the guard, um, where day it was, and he, um, he don't remember the date. <laughs> But then Gwen was talking to Ava, and Ava's like, oh, yeah, you helped you escape on um, June Morgan, which is um, when Abby was killed. But I still don't think that Gwen did it, because as much as I like to get rid of her and think that she was the one that truly did it, it does kind of seem a little too convenient, because, you know, she escaped and on the same day and stuff. But I don't know. That's all that happened this week that I remember. <laughs> I was up for Leo and um, Nancy's um, uncomfortable meeting. Alright, uh, let me know in the comments below. What did you enjoy and didn't enjoy this week? And if you liked this video, hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching, everybody. See you next week. Bye!